Hello, I'm Mike Coral. Welcome back to my perfect playthrough of Pokemon Crystal for the Game Boy Color. And last time we defeated Whitney and earned the plane badge. And we caught quite a number of Oh wait, I forgot about Kenya. But anyways, I did duplicate the Master Balls, so now I have a eight of them. And I even duplicate Kenya, so I think I'm free to drop her off at the with the original owner right about now. Anyways, I actually decided to delay any further episodes until working on this episode until it is close to midnight. The original intent was for a trick I wanted to perform, but apparently it's not doable. Anyways, we give this guy, Kenya, with the mail attached. Our cave leads to another road. That's, yes, that's good to know. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to speed through this. TM50, which is Nightmare. Pokemon we have, so let's skip them. So now that we got that out of the way, I actually forgot to do this in the previous episode. But now we are all but now we are all set for uh for the bug catching contest. It is still Tuesday, so. There's so much to do, so in so little time. I already got everything set up, so oh, all I have to do is save my game here, and we can begin the bug catching contest. Now we only need to win this contest twice for the sunstones, and because we're not actively trying to synchronize our footage like we did with gold and silver versions. I am free to win these two sunstones whenever I feel like. Are you sweet sent to manipulate the encounter? The first Pokemon is a pincer. And of course, I'm also going to try and manipulate the fur sketch. When the temperature drops at night, it sleeps on treetops or among roots where it is well hidden. That's cool. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, no cool trainer Nick. That's good. Uh, Cool Trainer Nick is virtually impossible to beat. <sighs> Since none of the Pokemon in the National Park exceed 350 points. Whereas, uh... Whereas Cool Trainer Nick's Pokemon do. Wait, no, wait, I don't want to give him Master Ball, I want to give him the, uh, Sunstone that I just won. I need two Sunstones, so those are going to be carried over to my next save file. As I perform the duplication trick, good. It's about 30 frames after the text finishes up, or half a second. So not a lot of time to power off, and if you do it a couple 
millisecond, a couple frames too early, it could cause some corrupt stat corruptions with your piece with your uh, PC box or the Pokemon themselves. Or uh, best case scenario, you actually override the save. And we would have to wait till uh, Thursday for the next Bug Catchy contest. Okay, level 14 Butterfree. Decent sh odds of winning with this thing. The best odds at winning the Bug Catchy contest are with the level 14 Pinsir, a level 14 Scyther, level 15 Butterfree, or it flits from flower to flower collecting honey. It can even identify distant flowers in bloom. Level 14 to 15 Butterfree or Beedrill, or a level 16 Venonat. I guess a level 17 Paris, level 18 Caterpie, Weedle, Kakuna, Medpie as well. Oh, it's cool turn, Nick. I got second place, damn. And our Butterfree wasn't worth that much points which sucks. Of course, this is one of Cool Trainer's unwin unbeatable captures, which was a pincer worth 372 points. There is no way to reach up reach that number in the bug catching contest, so Roll of thumb when doing bug catching contests, don't compete alongside Cool Trainer Nick, unless you don't care about winning. Luckily, I'll just give Butterfree a Master Ball to hold on to, so... I won't have to worry about a thing. Because this is emulated, my timing's gonna be 100% perfect. However, this isn't something I would recommend that you do if you are playing... Pokemon Crystal on actual hardware. Generally speaking, you want to keep du uh, duplications to a minimum in Crystal version because it's very easy to corrupt your save file. Or cause other corruptions like bad eggs, corrupt PC boxes, etc. Timing is not as generous as in Pokemon Yellow or especially Gold or Silver versions. Though it is a little better than red and blues. Alright, this is a level 15 Paris, not a level 17 one. The to Tochukaso growing on this Pokemon's back. Or is it to extract juice from tree trunks? Got Paris. Alright, it's all 15, and since all 17 doesn't really win you much of anything, or at least not really. Alright, I know I'm not winning, because there isn't a chance in hell that culture and Nick's outside the winner circle. Uh, his Scyther and Pinsir are unbeatable. Though his Venonat or, uh, it's either Venonat or Butterfree, I forgot which one. It is beatable, but you need nothing but the best Scyther or Pinsir. I'm just using the duplication trick to ensure that I get exactly what I want. And I'm also, unlike in red, blue, and yellow, the duplication trick does not send you to the location of the recent save. Because it works in reverse. In red, blue, and yellow, the last thing that gets saved is your party data. 
in gold, silver, crystal, the last thing that it's... In gold, silver, crystal, the first thing that gets saved is the PC data. Alright, then We still need a catch up. A uh, Caterpie, Metapod, Weedle, Kakuna, and Beedrill. Small bugs that eats appear only at night, so it sleeps in a hole in a tree until night falls. Oh yeah, and Scyther as well, so six more Pokemon to go. Oh god damn it again. Blood catcher. Look at Phil Willie. I've only seen Culture and Nick lose once in this perfect playthrough. He is that in a cheap it is he is that impossible to beat. Right now, I'm not terribly concerned about getting any specific prizes outside the second sunstone, so... I can tolerate losing, so long as I get at least one sunstone out of this. And since I haven't duplicated my, uh, sunkern yet, even if I never win another contest again, well, that's okay, I can still duplicate the sunstone. Saving, don't turn off the. Oh, no, late. Today's Tuesday. The rules are simple. Yeah, that is the darnest thing. So, again, we need Caterpie, Metapod, Wheel, Kakuna, Beedrill, and. Uh, Scyther complete our collection. In the tenth attempt at this bug catching contest, we have to catch everything. The new capture the new captures don't their Pokedex entries don't get preserved when you perform the duplication glitch, so we We are halfway done. Just a cat just Carpy, Metapod, Weedle, Kakuna, and Scyther now. It uses sharp poisonous stings to defeat prey. Then takes the victim back to its nest for food. Again with Cool Trainer Nick, enough! Uh, at least we came in second, but geez. And this was one of his beatable Pokemon. 353 points? It is theoretically possible to beat that. So if only I had something a little stronger, we would have won our second sunstone. Even with Cool Trainer Nick. And by the way, the Pokemon that they've caught in their point values are determined on the frame in which you, in which the uh, bug catching contest ends. Alright, so far so good. Oh, we're off! So, this is attempt number six. Yeah, attempts one through nine, we just need to catch one Pokemon and that's it. It's attempt number 10 where we have to capture everything. Because the data for the first nine captures do not carry over when you do when you perform the duplication glitch. 
At least not unless you decide to make use of PK hacks or something like that. Alright, I'm definitely not gonna be able to capture anything with this. We're not gonna beat anything. It crawls into foliage where it camouflages itself. Among leaves that are the same color as its body. Again. It's not gonna matter because we're not gonna be a win. But Catcher Josh has a Scyther, so I know we're not winning. So, this Scyther is unbeatable as well because it's worth 360 points. His Pinsir is unbeatable, it's worth 373 points. His Butterfree, which is worth 353 points, is beatable though. The only, to my knowledge, only a level 14 Scyther, a level 14 Pinsir, or a level 16 Venonat can beat it. So, whenever I lose one of these, I just give my Pokemon a Master Ball. If I already have two sunstones, I would just keep I would still continue giving them master balls afterwards. Sure. Chris received twenty park balls. us with Metapod, Cocoon, and Scyther now. Alright, we caught Weedle. The barb on top of its head secrets a strong poison. It uses this toxic barb to protect itself. Coltrane Nick again. The worst part is, had I caught something a little stronger and Coltrane Nick wasn't there, this would have been winnable. I mean, Pokey fan Williams is even there. So three more Pokemon. And Again, the whole point of this is literally to complete the National Park as quickly as possible. We just need Kakuna in uh, Metapod and Scyther. So what's interesting is, why am I not attacking these Pokemon? As a reminder, <clears throat> B 
bug catching call you actually get deduced points for weakening your the opposing the opposing Pokemon and then capturing them. Because the tally keeps tabs on how much remaining hit points the Pokemon has, not just the total. Here's Kakuna. When playing emulated Pokemon, Sweet Scent is an absolutely badass move to use because you can absolutely manipulate encounters with that. Nearly incapable of movement, it leans against stout trees while waiting for its evolution. So, yeah. Jeez, it's like the sixth, sixth or seventh, seventh time we ran into Cold Trainer Nick. In real life, I've only—I only recall having beaten Cold Trainer Nick once in real life. And I wasn't even trying to win either. I was trying to. Capture a, capture another Pokemon to help complete the Pokedex with the living decks, anyways. Uh, don't want to forget to give Kakuna a Master Ball to hold on to. So I'm not just duplicating the Pokemon onto the old file, passing them on to the. No Old file. I'm actually duplicating my uh, master balls as well. When I finish this, I will have 96 master balls in my inventory. So we need Metapod and Scyther. I'm just sort of keeping my eyes closed, struggling to stay awake. Metapod. So this is our ninth encounter. Alright, we caught me the pod. Try to read the entries. This is its pre evolved form. At this stage, it can only harden, so it remains motionless to avoid attack. Scyther is the last Pokemon left, so pretty much our last chance to win a Sunstone. And Culture cool Nick isn't even here this time. Imagine if we caught our Pokemon level 18 this time. Though Pokefan William is here, so I don't think I would have won. Picnic or Cindy also gets in the way of us winning. Though we need at least one of them to show up, one of those three trainers to show up if we want to have any shot at this. So bear that in mind, there is no way to have to be competing against five bug catchers who you have to go with the picnicker and the either the picnicker, the pokey fan, or Cool trainer. Gonna show off the sun sun. Master ball. 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 Alright, eight master balls in the sunstone. So, Scyther, you're my last hope for a second Sunstone. 
Well, second to last. My last would be, uh... Well, I'm not gonna think of it. It would be Sunkern, actually. And this time, I actually decided to uh, wait until it was around... 11.30 or 11.40. So, the time of day would shift from Tuesday to Wednesday. Pokedex entries, so we'll be skipping Pokedex entries. We need to catch every single Pokemon uh, at least once in order to get their uh, Pokedex entries registered. Including the ones I already caught, but I don't need to read their entries a second time. The only one I will read is Scyther, because we haven't caught one yet. And spoiler alert, uh, Cool Trainer Nick isn't here. I actually manipulated his absence before entering. Alright, Pinsir. So we caught Paris, Metapod, and now we're gonna catch a Pinsir. I literally have to manipulate the frames to determine what Pokemon I want to run to next and what frame I can capture it. Beedrill, yay! We're getting all the rare Pokemon out of the way. Oh, this early, huh? Oh, we still need to catch Caterpie, Butterfree, uh, Weedle, Kakuna. I think Venom is still at large. And of course, Scyther. Scyther, I believe. And we only need to keep Scyther this time around. So that's it. 
And by the way, their levels don't matter. Just that we got them registered as caught in our Pokedex. So even though we aren't gonna keep any of these Pokemon, if they're registered in our Pokedex, they will remain registered in my Pokedex as caught. Unless... Hey look, here's Scyther! I believe the last Pokemon standing out is Kakuna. Right now I gotta read the Pokedex entry. We got Scyther! It's very proud of its speed. It moves so fast that... Uh, its opponent does not even know what knocked it down. I hate that one. I hate when that happens. But don't worry, even though we're level 13, we will still have enough points to win. Alright, Kakuna. Alright, and already about it. Looks like it. Yep. We caught all ten Pokemon that we needed to catch. And there's no cool trainer neck. Alright. Pokefan William, that's good. He's the only one of the three special chairs present. Alright, Scyther! This episode, so really. Okay, before I continue on, let's find Buena's uh, channel. No. Here it is. Buena here. Today's password. Let me think. It's Cyndaquil. It's Cyndaquil. Don't forget. It. And I won't. Uh, Bueno's password, Pokemon Crystal, is only available in the evenings from 6 p.m. to midnight. However, in Heart Cold Soul Silver, it's only available periodically in every three hours. So, uh, before you pick up lucky number, show that's talk to Buena. This is actually only available for a limited time. Chris? Okay, come on, Chris, join the show. Everyone ready? I want to hear you shout out today's password for Chris. It's, uh, Cyndaquil. Yippee! That's right! You did tune in. I'm so happy. You're in one point. Congrats! Yep, our contestant was Chris. Thanks for coming. I hope all. Alright, so we definitely earned our stripes here. However, the reason why I'm in the radio tower now, besides the Buena's password, I want to be able to change PC. Change PCs. Pincer. Butter free. And I'm just gonna withdraw, remove the item, and then deposit it once more. So, stop at the area tower, I can do this without changing my, uh, warp point. Alright, 
All right. Oh, another master ball. Depositing these bugs because we don't need to release some. Alright, Carpy, you're done. Who's next? Weedle. And then it would be uh, Kakuna, then Metapod. And Scyther never held an item because we want our second Sunstone off of him, which we didn't need to duplicate. Master Ball from Kakuna. Yep, uh, we uh, scrubbed all our Pokemon of all their held items. Press on a PC. Depositing a Metapod. Now, we don't have a ton of time, so we have to keep moving if we want to get to the bar or shop older brother before he disappears. Why? Because I want to get two haircuts in a single episode, that's why. Sunkern. And this is the last duplication of the episode. Promise. I'm doing it so I can hold on to both my Sunkerns. And then as you can see, I did not give him a Master Ball. I will give him a Sunstone. Let's evolving them into Sunflora, of course. This was the rappel that my mom bought for me with my money in a previous episode. You need to fill up the Pokedex. Catch different kinds of Pokemon. That's for catching 42 different kinds of Pokemon. 
All right, now I have to hurry. I need to uh, first talk to Bill. Here he is. Hi, Chris. Do us a favor and take the CV. It came over when I was adjusting the time capsule. Someone has to take care of it, but I don't like being outside. Can I count you to play with it? What, Chris? I need you to come through. Way to go, you're the real deal. Okay, I'm counting on you. Take good care of it. And we have an Eevee. And oh yeah, wait. So we have an Eevee now. Let's get the phone number from Bill's younger sister, I think. Yep. And that gives us Bill's number. We don't have enough space in our radio cards in our uh, Poke Gear though to get his number in gold or silver, but we do have enough space in crystal. This is the Haircut Brothers' older brother, and we are going to get the first of two haircuts today. They're all done. The Haircut Brothers are available every day except Mondays. So this is the most opportune time to try to max out our Eevee's uh, happiness ranking. I need to do before we cycle over to a new day. We gotta defeat these trainers. Uh, even though these are optional, I'm gonna slot Croconon here. These trainers can only be battled at night. This officer's Growlithe are way weaker than the previous, so I should have no trouble one shining these uh, Growlithe from this officer. Too bad none of them are named Jenny. Teleport back to Ecratique now. What I'm gonna do is try to manip the encounters here. But first, move Bailey to the front of the rock. And we got the rare night exclusive Aria Dose, the evolved form of Spinarak. Uh, the evolved forms of Ladybug and Spinarak are not available at this point in the game in gold and silver. 
So this is a crystal exclusive capture, at least for now. Rather than making a nest in one specific spot, it wanders in search of food after darkness falls. And we might as well... Try hand at the common folk this time. And we also got the other rare encounter, which is a Noctile. By the way, I don't know- I no longer have to try manipulating captures, just encounters. Because Master Balls are guaranteed to catch no matter what. Its extremely soft feathers make no sound in flight. It silently sneaks up on prey without being detected. We got three more Pokemon to go. And by the way, every Pokemon here can only be caught at night. On Route 36. Uh, at the National Park, that's another story entirely, because... Technically not allowed to record footage in the middle of a game. Ground balls found on the fallen antlers can be ground into a powder that aids in sleeping. If prey becomes ensnared in its nest of spun string, it waits motionlessly until it becomes dark. at the same time every day. Some trainers use them in place of clocks. And we caught Wooper. 
cool. A mucous membrane covers its body. Touching at it barehanded will cause a shooting pain. Stay awake, man. I'm not playing. Proud of their sturdy bodies, they bash against each other in a contest to prove who is harder. Oh, you defeat all these trainers already, right, so. The only reason we're doing this is to cut through Azalea Town. Alright, and I think this is time. Ah, oh, Chris, I just fished your ball. Here. Got the fastball, which allows us to catch Pokemon that can, that are pro susceptible to flee. Gives a boost to them, but only three of them, strangely enough. Grimer, Tangela, and I forgot what the other one was. So the fastball as a Pokeball isn't very good. So, what do we do now? Well... Well, I can't head back to New Bark Town. You might think, well, we could just reset the clock. We could... We could say, uh, Daylight Savings Time is over and go back in time. However, that can... Because this would absolutely mess with the main campaign mode too much. Instead, Madden just. Uh, sorry, I was playing some sort of Sega. You can tell I'm tired. Now, this is the younger and less expensive the haircut brothers, which usually means that he sucks. But there is a. But if you get your Pokemon all delighted. It's a massive plus 10 boost in happiness, which is easily the best boost that any of your, uh, bug po any of your Pokemon can get if you're looking to level them up a bit. So I got the po so I got the Pokeball, I, uh... I forgot what I was doing. Yeah, so, the antidotes, I think. Uh, I count what I do have. Burn heal for sure. Paralysis cure, I'm pretty sure, will go, and so will the antidotes. the paralysis heal. And there's an Ultra Ball right here. And no grass for us to battle, and even though this is the route where we can capture uh, two new headbutt Pokemon, we can't reach the trees that have them. Now, since it's night, there is a decent chance that we might run into a Meryl. Well, we run into a Meryl.
And we there's also a decent chance that we run into Gross Van Ether. So far, nothing is really piquing my interest. We are Karatata. So I'm just exploring a bit so I could have all the items I can during my Initial, uh, traversal of <coughs> Mount Mordor. Oh, Eradicate. I'm definitely catching you. Master Ball, go. on its hind legs enable it to cross rivers. It searches wide areas for food. So at least this excursion isn't entirely up to wait. Isn't entirely late to waste. Just run away, no Meryl means no catching. We have to cut to the... Alright, uh, what is it? Alright, we're... We are both... In a really bad place, we need to enter our item back, second screen uh, in the menu, so in order to uh, freeze the spinner. And I use this opportunity to manip capture this Venomoth. Based on the time, this is probably the last time, the last capture of the day, of the episode. Scales that scatters will paralyze anyone who touches them, making that person unable to stand. And this... Hi Chris, it's me, Bill. Thanks for using my storage system. The last Pokemon you sent filled your box up. You have to switch boxes if you want to catch more Pokemon. Bye now. And yep, if you got Bill's phone number, he will call you and inform you, hey, your PC's full. Why don't you go back and change the box in your PC now? Looks like we are officially done for the day. We caught a ton of Pokemon in the surrounding areas, but now we need to move some Pokemon around. And we need to change boxes to box 4 as well. We want to continue our uh, cat Pokemon catching spree. Finamoth. Box 4. Rackate, box 4. Dude, and we want to move Sunkern to box one and try to see if we can move Sandshrew. Nope, Sandshrew's where is it? 
think I see him. So I guess that's we are gonna be moving Sunker in a box too. Oh, there you are, our HM slave. So now we're gonna switch to box five now. Uh, sorry, box four. We want to deposit some of our excess items because we're running low on space. So, uh, let's get, let's deposit our pink bow and the Everstone. Everstones would only be useful if you're breeding. Oh yeah, the Sunstone, since it'll be a while before we catch the other evolution for it. Right, what's the new rain? 52 owned. You're trying, I can see that. Your Pokedex is coming together. Alright, let's see. Save our game, and then we will be able to begin reading our Genesis Pokedex entries. We only have, I think, two or three new cat uh, evolutions here. As the hot season approaches, the petals on this Pokemon's face become more vivid and li lively. So I think the only other Pokemon we need to do this for is its ability to evolve into many forms allow it to adapt smoothly and perfectly to any environment. Now, in spite of this, we aren't quite done with captures. We're not quite ready to trade with Yellow. But next time, I'll be sure to take care of that and we'll even defeat Battle Morty for our fourth badge. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. This is Mike Gorn, sign out.